What's up everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to get started in cybersecurity. Before we get into the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because it would really help me out a lot. So I would really appreciate that. All right, so now let's get into the video. All right, so I've been in cybersecurity for the past three years now. I would say probably way more than three years if you count my school as well because I actually went to university to study cybersecurity, RIT to be specific. And I I've noticed that cybersecurity right now, especially in the past few months actually, or the past few years, is getting very popular and almost everybody wants to get into this field because it's very it's 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 in demand. There are so many jobs for it. You know, you just go if you go on LinkedIn you're gonna see every job post is basically about cybersecurity which was not true like five years ago. And it's really interesting to me how important has this, this has become actually in today's world. And I get it. However, my goal in this video is to help you understand if this is something that you want to get into. Because cybersecurity is not just a field where you jump into and it's, it's not like something that's very easy or it's not something that some people might not find it interesting. You know, it, it is an interesting field. For me, it is that it, that might not be true for someone else. You know, you might see the glam around it, but once you get into it, it's a completely different ball game. The first thing is first is if you want to get into cybersecurity, at least in my opinion, I think you need to really know if you care about cybersecurity. Do you care about privacy? Do you care about people's privacy? Do you care about data? Do you care about just being able to secure a network? Is that something that you're passionate about? And of course that goes for a lot of things. Like any field you pick is, I think it starts with do you even like it, right? For example, not everybody likes to code, but some people are like, oh, I wanna become a software engineer. Sounds cool, you can make cool stuff. But once you sit and type code, there's so much more to it. You have to sit and you know, it's not like every time you write code, you get the, the right answer. And the same thing goes for cybersecurity as well. It's not just about hacking. You know, you don't become like this, I don't know, anonymous group or something or whatever. It is much more than that. You are gonna be, if you're working in cybersecurity, you will be part of a company. Maybe yes, you'll be doing ethical hacking for them. Maybe you might be an analyst for them. Maybe you're someone who basically consults them to be like, hey, this is what, this is the security practices that you should be following and you know, X, Y, Z. So you should ask yourself, is that something that you want to even do in the first place? But you might not know the answer to that, which takes me to my next point. Start talking to people. You have to network with people or talk to people in the industry to be able to know what this field is like. So I would say, you know, talk to someone who's been into the field for even five years, for even 10 years, or even someone like me. If you find someone in the industry who's, who has actually practiced it, you know, talk to them and ask them questions about what is what is it like, you know? Do, you, do they enjoy it? Do they like it? Do they want to grow in it? Or what does it look, what does a day in a life look like in their job? And you gotta talk to different people, you know. Then cybersecurity again is divided into like multiple different segments. So you have analysts, you have pen testers, you have people who are just consultants, you have people in governance where they just write policies and whatnot. So it's very different. So you gotta try to see if you can meet people in these different spectrums, talk to them and get that understanding. A good resource would be LinkedIn, it's the best right now. And you can definitely connect with a lot of cybersecurity professionals over there. Maybe chances are they might not respond to you instantly, but you know, I don't know, message like a hundred people and I'm sure at least one of them will respond to you. And actually it's gonna be more than one, I guarantee you that. The next thing about cybersecurity is if you actually want to do it, you need to make sure you're very good with networking. When I say networking, I mean, you know, knowing how the internet works, knowing how basic networks work, knowing how routers and switches work. That stuff is very important because if you do not know how a network works or how an infra infrastructure operates, you will not be able to know how to, de how to defend it. 
so that is something that's very important so basic tcp ip stuff is key you also need to know your basics of cyber security so knowing your security not security but knowing your ports knowing uh you know the osi layers which is a networking thing really uh knowing your security protocols knowing some cryptography I would say these are like the basic stuff that you need to at least read about if you're someone who's trying to get in. Now, if you're doing a cybersecurity degree, this is something that they will cover anyways. But let's just say you're studying on your own, then most likely, yes, you might have to do this stuff on your, by yourself. Which gets me to my next point. Take a course. Take a cybersecurity course. Now, I know that's a very broad thing to say, right? Because there are so many courses online. And you might not know what is legitimate so i'm going to give you a couple of resources which i think is pretty legit and it gives you a good way of learning cyber security the first one is try hack me try hack me.com is a good resource it's free and even actually it's free for a while and they have like a small paid subscription which is totally worth it in my opinion because they have a good walkthrough towards different domains in cyber security so they cover networking they cover pen testing they cover defense, they cover, they cover like web application security. So it's like, it's all there. So definitely give that a shot. The second one would be maybe take a certification, go after a certification course like Security Plus by ComTIA. It's very popular and a lot of the people, you know, encourage that because it walks you to the fundamentals of security and the basic stuff that you need to know to basically have an entry level job. And I would also, to complement that, actually, I would take the Network Plus certification, which is, again, by CompTIA. So, actually, you should do the Network Plus first and then the Security Plus, because I think that's, you know, that both of them complement each other. And it would give you a very good foundation of cybersecurity. And I think you would easily probably get a job, or at least an entry-level job, if you possess those two certs. That is if you're not studying in at a university. And if you do not want to go for a certification, I would just recommend maybe going after following legitimate people on YouTube because there are good free resources on YouTube that teach you the basics of cybersecurity. One of them would be TCM Security or some people know him as a cyber mentor. He's a very good resource for just learning basic stuff. He also has his own courses which are paid on his website, but he also has his free courses on YouTube. So just, just in case you want to get started somewhere. So have a look at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, again, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos related to cyber security in this channel as well. And definitely share with someone whom you think would find this valuable. And if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.